guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about golden paste, which is made with turmeric, and I wanted to kind of show you guys the process of how I make it and just talk a little bit about the benefits of it. First, uh, this is the recipe that I use, um, and we make it for both Sunshine and sometimes Arlo. It can be really beneficial for a lot of different things, which I will talk about, uh, but before I even start anything, I just want to let you know, guys know that I am not a dog nutritionist, I am not a veterinarian, so please talk to your veterinarian and your dog nutritionist prior to feeding your dog anything new that you haven't talked to them about before, uh, especially golden paste because it can cause a lot of different things in dogs that like, you know, will not tolerate it. Uh, there's a lot of different things that could cause allergy issues. So make sure that you're talking to your vet and having a good open conversation before you consider making something like this for your dog. So to start out here, I fill my one measuring cup with water and I put it in the pot where I'm going to be making the golden paste. And then I use the measured half cup of turmeric and then I turn on the stove. And basically the part about having the stove on, it's kind of important that you get it really hot so that it can mix together well because it will mix when they're not hot, but it mixes a lot better and it'll actually store a lot better when you get it really hot. So I'm stirring it a little bit. That's the other important thing is consistent stirring. And we're also going to be using some organic coconut oil and some fresh ground black peppercorns. So while it's getting hot, I make sure to continue to stir it. Usually uh, I will have someone else stir it at the same time so that, you know, when I'm making it, I can keep it continuously stirring and that way it mixes with the water well and gets to this nice, like, battery consistency almost a little bit more liquidy than like a bread batter or something um so that's what I usually go for is like this consistency here is actually pretty good um so once we get that consistency I will usually take it out and I will mix together the freshly ground peppercorns and the coconut oil I would say the hardest part of this recipe is actually measuring out the coconut oil. So you have to spoon it out because basically it comes solid. Like you can't really buy coconut oil in a liquid form. So it comes solid and you have to spoon it out into the cup to measure it. So it's, it's kind of frustrating. But um, once you do that and you have it and you're ready, you can mix it in with the rest of the mixture. So while the golden paste is still on the stove and cooking and stuff, you put in the coconut oil and the freshly ground pepper and you stir it in and you mix it until it is all very incorporated. This might take a little bit because you have to get the coconut oil to liquefy, which can take a few minutes on the stove for that to happen. But once you get everything really well incorporated, you can take it and put it in like a jar. We used an old coconut oil jar because that just made the most sense for us. But uh, you can store it in glass as well or in Tupperware containers. And then we keep ours in the fridge. So the next thing that I want to talk about with you guys is the benefits of golden paste. So there's a lot of different benefits that golden paste has, um, and your veterinarian can definitely help you decide how much you want to give your dog per day based on what they need from it. So first of all, turmeric or golden paste is an anti-inflammatory, which is really nice for dogs that suffer from allergies or other inflammatory diseases. Um, it can be super helpful for them. It also promotes heart and liver health. So if you're at all concerned about cardiovascular issues with your dog or your dog is on the older side and it's getting to a point where that might be a problem, you can start looking into it for that. Works with pain relief. So I really love... Um, using this with some of my clients, who, dogs who are struggling with like arthritis or something like that, where they're having inflammatory issues and also pain is a problem. So helping with both of those things is great. It can help prevent cataracts, which is an eye disease in dogs and also in humans. So um, it can help prevent that. And it works as sort of a natural detox. A lot of people say this, I will say that I'm not really sure what that really entails. I don't necessarily know how much I believe in like the detox culture sort of thing. So, but I did, you know, leave it on here because that is definitely something that people say. 
And also it promotes good digestion, which is awesome because a lot of dogs right now are struggling with digestive issues. I, I can count, I can't count on both of my hands how many of my uh, friends and clients have dogs that are struggling with GI problems right now. Um, so this definitely can help with that. And it also aids with cancer prevention and improves cardiovascular health, which is, you know, help with, uh, you know, the heart and that other kind of stuff. So it, it does aid in a lot of different things. These are just the things that, that, uh, came up when I was looking around about it. Um, but you should definitely ask your vet. There might be other reasons why you would want to use it or why you wouldn't want to use it. They might suggest a different recipe for you or something like that. So definitely speak to your vet before using something like this. So that's kind of all I have for you guys today. I hope that this video was helpful and I hope that it starts a conversation between you and your dog nutritionist or your uh, veterinarian about if this can be helpful for your dogs. Um, I don't personally use it myself. There are a lot of people who take it. Um, so, you know, definitely look into that on your own. I, I only use this for my dogs. So um, definitely look into it if you think that it's something that would be helpful for you or your animals. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was informational. And I will see you guys in whatever I make next. Bye!